Well, I think that the, uh, the kind of uh, subjects that I put on the table to think about are not always there in conventional discussions of rule of law. Um, so even in my public policy school, uh, we have only very recently set aside a separate track for science, technology, and policy studies. So this is an emerging area, even in America, and we think that it should be more global because these days, most problems of law and public policy and governance uh, involve some technical dimension. Either people are using data in some ways where they need to think about the credibility, the reliability of the data, or they're using instruments to ga gather information, or they're having to evaluate high-level scientific and technological information, for instance, in deciding whether genetic modification is a good thing to use in agriculture or not, and you know what kinds of genetic treatments would be reasonable to use. Uh, there, you need to consider what the evidence is. And I think that the the rule of law perspective makes one more sensitive to the background assumptions that go into the collection of evidence. Um, we are often used to thinking that the countries that are the furthest ahead in science and technology also have the best answers for how to use the science and technology to make public policy. But one of the things that we have learned over the years is that even in these high-level scientific cultures, there are assumptions that you need to question. And I think when you put the rule of law together with science, technology, and society, you develop a more powerful framework for asking, well, how do those people know what they think they know? Is that really consistent with the kinds of accountability and transparency and stability that we need in a governance system?